You might know that if you increase your running cadence or the number of steps you take each minute when you're running by three to 8%, you could potentially run faster without using any extra energy. Now this might sound too good to be true, but it's actually been proven in studies. Beyond this, increasing your running cadence slightly is a great catch-all that improves a lot of running technique issues. But there is a big problem with increasing running cadence. When coaches say to increase running cadence on your own or by using a metronome or maybe songs with a fast beat, what will happen more often than not is that people will just run faster and it's not actually changing their run technique for the better. Fortunately, just last week, we talked to a running expert on how to increase running cadence and we finally have an excellent trick that you can use that is guaranteed to increase your running cadence with a system that will make that cadence stick to a new and improved run technique that you can use in your day-to-day -day running and races. What's up, motivators? My name is Taryn. When ordinary people want to accomplish something extraordinary in endurance sports, they choose unlimited motive training plans for as low as $14.99 a month. You're ready to take on that next big endurance challenge? Let's do it. For starters, there isn't one single best run cadence. As long as you're within the 165 to 185 steps per minute, you're good. Instead of a magic number of run cadence that we should all be working towards, we should instead try to be roughly three to 8% faster than our current run cadence. And this is where the benefits of an increased running cadence get numerous. First, we can run faster using the same energy. Second, we'll have less ground contact time, which will make us less likely to get injured. Third, will land more underneath our body, putting the brakes on a lot less with every single foot strike. And we'll lean forward more using our body weight to our advantage. And finally, we'll all stand taller. Increasing run cadence just slightly is kind of like a catch-all technique cue that will prompt you to actually fix the greatest number of things with the smallest number of adjustments. Like we mentioned though, it is really hard to change run cadence on your own without just doing the same thing that you're already doing, only faster. Personally, I remember attending a run clinic where the well-meaning coaches were drilling into us to run at a higher cadence, but go the same speed. And literally not a single runner could do it. All two dozen of us were doing what most of us do when we're told to increase run cadence. We just ran faster with our usual technique. That's where a conversation with our pal Brody Sharp, a virtual physiotherapist and host of all the Run Smarter content comes in. In a podcast we did with Brody, he shared the trick he uses to help people increase their run cadence. What he does is instead of just telling runners to go out on their own and try to increase run cadence, Brody will get his athletes to run on a treadmill at their usual easy run pace. Then he gets them to increase their cadence, matching a metronome set faster than the athlete's typical run cadence. The treadmill is the key to this because it will stay at the same speed that you're running and with a faster cadence, your run technique will have no choice but to change. Here's exactly how you would do this for your unique run technique. First, look at your current average run cadence on a fitness device. If you have a Garmin, you can go into your Garmin Connect training app and pull up your data to see what your typical run cadence is on an easy run. Next, add 5% to this number by multiplying that number that you found in step one by 1.05. You can just go into a calculator in your phone to do this. Third, find a metronome app and set it to the number that you calculated in step two. Finally, set a treadmill to your normal easy run pace and run on that treadmill following the metronome. This will give you the sensation of that faster run cadence, so it gives you the opportunity to start increasing your run cadence, but it's not enough because treadmill running is different than road running. What you have to do now is start transferring that treadmill running technique into your day-to-day -day running so you can actually change your run technique to a faster cadence. To do that, start by getting that sensation of a faster run cadence with one run on the treadmill every week. Next, if possible for you, do a run where you're starting on the treadmill with your new and improved faster run cadence, then hop off the treadmill and go for a run on flat ground, maybe on a track or around the neighborhood with that exact technique in mind. 
If you're able to do that, go back and forth frequently, maybe every five to seven minutes, going from the treadmill to regular running. This is going to slowly bring that new treadmill running technique with the higher cadence into your regular running. Finally, something that we get athletes in our app to do is perform their long runs on trails, focusing on fast foot turnover. If you've done the treadmill cadence trick frequently, you'll easily be able to feel that quick foot turnover and the soft surface of the trail will force you to really work on that faster foot turnover. Do this treadmill technique paired with a long run on trails for a few weeks and you'll very quickly be able to change your running technique to have that nice faster cadence. Of course, one big caveat to know about this is that running technique is just the icing on the cake. It's not the thing that is going to make you a good runner. The thing that is going to make you a good runner is a good training plan and completing 80% or more of your prescribed workouts. Do that and you'll be an excellent runner. Improve your run technique with this faster cadence and you'll get that little bit extra out of the work that you're putting into your training plan. Speaking about work, you're ready to take on that next big endurance challenge that you've always wanted to. And when you train with Motive, you'll be ready on race day. If you want a personalized training plan that is meant exactly for you, check out Motive, which is the only app in the world with training plans designed specifically for ordinary people who want to accomplish something extraordinary in endurance sports. And you can try it for free. Finally, click the video on the screen. I mentioned this treadmill trick is from our friend Brody Sharp from Run Smarter. He's an absolutely excellent resource for runners, and this video on the screen is the most popular video on his new YouTube channel. Check it out. Later, motivators.